Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, November 13th of 2019. Uh, This is just going to be a little video blog. Uh, Let's see. I did a blog yesterday for uh, the start of... Disney Plus, and uh, they had some difficulty, which is understandable the first day, Uh, but in the afternoon yesterday, everything seemed to be working okay. I watched a couple things last night. I, uh, and so it looks like they're, you know, working okay. Um, I did have my six and a half gallon tank over there on this dresser. I, uh, took the water out. I moved the fish. There weren't very many in there over to my 29 gallon tank. You can see the 29 gallon right there. Um, so I, I still need, I emptied all the water in the gravel out of the six and a half gallon tank, but I need to wash it out, and uh, which is a little bit difficult with my arthritis being so bad. Um, and so I moved that over here. <clears throat> That's a Roku television set. And I installed the... Uh, Disney Plus app on there. <clears throat> I watched, they have all 600 episodes of uh, The Simpsons. Of course, I've watched a ton of The Simpsons, but I just decided to start over and I watched three episodes. It's kind of hard from, from the beginning. It's kind of hard to watch the old because the audio was, the voices were so bad and the you know, the graphics weren't as good as it gets later on, so. Um, I had somebody leave me. I, let's see. I did a uh, video the other day, and I mentioned that, now I can't remember which ones I watched. It's one of the, the, this whole collection, Disney has the whole collection of superhero videos. I'm not a, I've never really watched them. Uh, haven't been a fan of them, <clears throat> but I decided I so I, I watched. Uh, now I forget which one I watched. Half of it, and I mentioned that I knew this was not one of the. Uh, you know they weren't in order, so a, a, a viewer left me a complete list, so. Captain America, the first Avenger, is going to be the first one I'm going to now watch. And then he uh, he says that Captain Marvel is the second, and Iron Man, and then Iron Man 2, and then so on. So I have the list. I printed it out on the printer. Uh, by the way, Windows 10 did an update starting at 5.15 a.m., it took till 6.30, and it's billed at 19.03. And I'm not sure. I think maybe that, I'm not sure if it just reinstalled. Now I can't remember what I had before. But the install went okay. But I thought that the window installs were going to be, that Windows was, or Microsoft was going to make it so it didn't, have to update everything that it would just do an update and update part of it that needed to be updated or something I don't know anyway it's still what was that uh, 515 to 615 would be one hour so it was an hour and 15 minutes for the upgrade to 1903 and I'm not sure if I had that before or not I can't remember um, 
So also I am back to using two monitors. It was nice having all the space. But if I am going to be making YouTube videos, I want the control over here on the second monitor where I can see it. I can see the microphone audio. I can see what what you're seeing. And uh, so I guess I'm just going to have to stick with that. Except if you know me, I may change my mind tomorrow. I hope not. I've been up, well, I'm not sure what time I did wake up. I've basically been up all night. Um, so, I, I can't go to bed right now because I have a bunch of stuff on my bed that was on this over here. So I have to, have to get my bed cleared off before I can go to bed oh I know what I need to do I have a and I'm not even sure I'm going to continue doing this uh, there's this newsletter which you could you can have it going to you in the morning if you're interested but uh, anyway I need to do this, so you're just going to have to watch along here with me. I need to pick the news stories that are going to be in my little newsletter that goes out every morning at, I think, 9 a.m. <clears throat> Hate crimes remain at heightened level. I didn't check this out, but... Uh, from the headline. Apparently there's a cat at a uh, shelter that was freeing other cats. <laughs> so they they had to uh, I think the video's on YouTube. If I come across it or if you know put it in a comment. You know you can put the link there. Or maybe I'll do it. But this cat uh, <laughs> had, had to confine it because it was letting other cats escape. Google's Project Nightingale, Center of Federal Inquiry. I have no idea what that is. The impeachment investigation starts this morning at, I think, 8 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time. Uh, I don't intend to. It's going to be on television. Uh, National Public uh, Radio is going to carry it. I'm sure that C-SPAN will carry it, you know, video and audio. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm just so sick and tired of all of this. I'm not going to listen to it. I'll just get the news summaries at the end of the day. Uh, people, uh, people my age, us older folks, uh, we were around when Nixon impeachment hearings started. And I was working at St. Joseph Hospital in Kansas City, Missouri, doing security. And I worked in the hospital three days a week, and two days a week I was in the parking lot. And when I was in the parking lot, every car that came in the parking lot had it on, the imp impeachment hearings on the radio. Uh, doctors had a doctor's parking lot there. They would come in. And it, it was, they were listening to it. Um, a lot of times they would sit in their car because the, something was going on they wanted to hear. And the uh, switchboard operator would call out to the uh, guard shack out there and uh, ask, is Dr. Piper or Dr. White, are they, is, you know, uh, Dr. Skinner is, and... Uh, if they were there in their car, then I'd go over and say, Doctor, the switchboard just called, asked if you were here, said there's a call for you or they need you on, you know, whatever. So I don't think there's going to be as, I don't think it's going to be like it was then. One, we're really polarized. So the, the 
uh, pro-Trump people are not even going to want to watch it. They're not going to want to watch it. And uh, us that are anti-Trump, Trump, we just don't want to hear anymore. We're just sick and tired of sick and tired of it. We just want all this over with. Um, I'm surprised the Supreme Court made this. I haven't read the details of it. I'm surprised the Supreme Court is allowing the Sandy Hook families to sue Remington uh, guns, rifles, or whatever their full name is. Because the National Rifle Association years and years ago had laws passed uh, <clears throat> that you could not sue a you just couldn't sue. You couldn't sue a gun store. You couldn't sue a gun manufacturer. You couldn't sue a, a you know, pistol rifle range. Or They just passed laws that exempted that. Now, you can sue doctors, nurses, police officers. You can sue everybody. And you can sue donut shops, coffee shops, burger shops, whatever. But in the United States, the National Rifle Association got about the only people you can't sue are, you know, gun manufacturers. And uh, so I'm not sure why the Supreme Court, uh, I'm glad they did, because <clears throat> that's the only remedy that you have sometimes is to, I've never sued anybody. I've had people, because uh, I work hospital security, I've had people threaten to sue me. And I've never had anybody. I've never had anybody actually sue me. Uh, but I think in the United States, well, I don't know. In the United States, there are a lot of lawsuits. But poor people and the people who really need a lawsuit sometimes, you can't. Because also that's another thing that the Republicans uh, accomplished on a statewide basis is that they uh, made it where you can't sue doctors for real large amounts of money or you can't sue uh, if, if you get some if you get a, a crib or a baby stroller or a kid's bicycle or something, they they made it where you can't sue for a lot of money in a lot of cases. Now, of course, there's 50 states, so it probably vary, varies, but uh, unless the amount of money that you can sue for is large, somebody who doesn't have money, you because you're, you can't go out and get a, I've never tried to sue anybody, uh, but you, you can't go and find a lawyer. You can't go to a lawyer and say, hey, uh, such and such happened to me. I, you know, I slipped and fell in a store or uh, there was a car accident or whatever. If you go to the lawyer, if you go to a lawyer, um, they're, gonna, they're not going to take your case. And so you really can't sue. Uh, the reason they're not going to take your case is in order to sue, they, they're they going to have to have depositions. They're going to have to bring in experts if it's a medical thing. You know, they're going to have to bring in a doctor who's an expert in that area, more than one, and all this kind of stuff. And they're not going to be able to, re, you know, unless it's a large amount of money that can be won, they're not going to be able to recoup their money, so they're not going to do it. Now, if uh, if you have now if, if you have some cases like if you have a uh, say a person is shot by a police officer, uh, or say a black uh, youth, a boy. Uh, let's say he's at a park and he has a toy gun and let's say that a police officer pulls up 
and shoots him and kills him within 20 or 30 seconds, there'll be lawyers lined up with that family to take that case because the city has money or if it's a county sheriff or whatever. Uh, that's what I mentioned, by the way, is an actual incident that happened. I don't know whether there was a I'm sure. But so for those kind of cases, you can get lawyers will show up uh, for those kind of cases. But if you're somebody, you know, like me or somebody who's, if, unless you have money, and if you have a case that you want to take to the United States Supreme Court, uh, unless you get some group like, which it, it costs a tremendous amount of money if you have some type of a situation where it's a case that needs to go to the United States Supreme Court. Uh, now, you may get the American Civil Liberties Union uh, to take the case, uh, maybe. <clears throat> but they'd probably want to try to get some money from some other organizations to help them pay for the thing in order to take the case. The problem is Let me give you a family member, a true case. I had a family member, a daughter, who worked for uh, Greenpeace. She ran their office in Kansas City, Missouri, and later she ran their office in, Cal in Los Angeles, and then, no, Kansas City, Missouri, then she ran it in on the East Coast. Then she ran their office in Los Angeles, and then they eventually did away with offices, and just the uh, Greenpeace just does their collecting online with a website or whatever. But uh, she, um, so she was in charge of the office and the whole thing. She's very smart, has a very high IQ. I can say that because she didn't get her IQ from me. I, I know that. Uh, very smart. I've, I saw her like when she was very young, you know, appearing on television. And wow, you know, she was, they were asking her questions on environment on whatever. And she was just whoosh, yeah, nailing everything. Anyway, she has, anyway, Back to the story. So she was working the Kansas, in charge of the Kansas City office, so she took the crews out to go door to door. And back then, uh, they would go to, you know, doors, and they would, um, you know, knock on the door, and they'd say, you know, with Greenpeace or whatever, just want to let you know that there's an election coming up, and here's some information about you know, issues that are on there, environmental issues or other issues that are on there, and also um, whatever, you know, there's maybe a bill. They would just do that type of thing. And then they'd, you know, maybe leave a pamphlet or something and say where people could donate to Greenpeace or whatever. So she has her people spread out in Overland Park, Kansas, which is a... Uh, sort of a wealthy, kind of a stuck-up. I'm, I'm sure every probably city in the United States, maybe in the world, you know, you have an area that, and Kansas City has more than one of their areas like that, but it's people that, a lot of people that live, of course, there's also always going to be some people that, you know, but that's an area where, like I spent 30 years working hospital security and the hospital security director's you know, lived in Overland Park, Kansas, hospital administrators and assistant administrators and department heads lived in Overland Park, Kansas. I mean, there's tremendous areas in Kansas City. You know, they all lived out in, in that area. So. Uh, so anyway, she was 
So she's going door to door, and the other people are going door to door. So she goes up to a door, and uh, uh, knocks on a door, and a lady comes to the door, and, uh, well, LaDonna. <laughs> LaDonna says, uh, and I'm with Greenpeace or whatever, and the lady says, I'm not interested. She says, okay, thank you very much, you know. I mean, she might have said, can I leave this? I don't know, you know, but anyway. So then she leaves, and she's down on the sidewalk. A car pulls into the the driveway that she just left, you know, and she LaDonna's heading down the street with her clipboard and everything. And LaDonna, by the way, even now, you know, many years, many years later, this, you know, LaDonna is uh, small, petite. Nobody is going to consider her Nobody would ever be worried about her being a problem, you know. Uh, so anyway, she's walking down. So a guy gets out of the car, goes up. To his, it's a husband is home, you know. And he goes up and he asks his wife, who's that was who was just at the door? And his wife says, oh, you know. Well, we don't know. I'm just, you know. Said, oh, uh, a girl from Greenpeace. And then he runs down the sidewalk, yells, stop, come back here. So, Lilana goes back and he says, uh, did you just go up to my door there? At, you know, and Lilana said, yes, you know, yes, I did. And he said, uh, okay, uh, you're under arrest. They, we, I don't know whether he informed her there was a, the uh, Green River Ordinance. Don't know if you've ever been driving through some states, and you're in the United States. You drive through some states, or you come to some cities or towns, and there'll be a sign, Green River Ordinance Enforced. And that means that you can't go up to people's doors to solicit or do a whole bunch of things. It's... Uh, it's been around forever, and it's been it's gone to court and it's gone to the United States Supreme Court or whatever. It's it's just an excuse for the police or whatever to you know harass people. Um, and it's where it's gone to the Supreme Court, you know, more than once, but the Supreme Court has ruled. Well, anyway, let's. As the Supreme Court ruled on that. So anyway, the police officer who was a high-ranking Overland Park police officer, I don't remember his rank. Well, I don't think I even knew what his rank was. But he says, oh, I'm tired of you hippies and and uh, you hippies and something else, two or three phrases about, you know, hippies and whatever, and you're under arrest and he called for a police car, you know, Overland Park police car to come out. So I'm not sure if two police officers came, you know, if two different cars came or if just one car came. Don't. It's also been a long time ago. And uh, so anyway, the police officer is like, you know, the, the, the captain, major, or colonel, whatever he is, he tells the, you know, district officer, I want her arrested. And I, apparently the police officer says, you want to arrest it for, you know, come into my door, you know, the green violation of the Green River Ordinance or whatever, you know, she's a hippie or whatever. And the police officer, I'm not sure exactly, you know, but it was like, oh, uh, you, you want to you might give her a, a, a ticket to, uh, you know, or no, take her, put, you know, handcuff her, take her to the station. So he had <laughs> handcuffs LaDonna, takes her to the police station. And uh, so then the police officer, LaDonna is sitting there, you know, and police officers at the police station are, uh, and then they're, you know, and LaDonna can hear them, you know. What's with this, this little girl over here, whatever? Oh, and then, of course, whatever this guy's name was, you know, let's say Major. Major so-and-so won her arrested. What'd she do? Uh, came to the door soliciting, you know, 
Green River. And they were like, oh. really? Yeah, really. Okay. So then, um, and she called. She got to make her call. And she called me. I just came in the door. I'd just taken off my uniform, just locked up my gun and everything, and I get a call. And uh, so she says, you know, I'm at the Overland Park Police Department. And so they knew that I was on my way, and uh, they transported her to the Olathe County Jail. So I get to the Overland Park Police Department, and they say, well, she's not here. She's been taken to the uh, to the uh, Olathe County Jail, which was in Olathe. wasn't in Overland Park. It was in the next city over, Olathe. So I went out there and got her out. So the United States Supreme Court has ruled more than once because it takes more, well, because you're going to have assholes like the Overland Park police officer. By the way, I worked out in Overland Park security at a number of locations. The Overland Park police officers who patrolled the rank and file, they were about the nicest police officers that I, you know, I had no problem with them. I even worked with, you know, with them. I worked at a mall for, as a, it was a secondary job as a security officer. And then they had two police officers there, Overland Park, and then they had me. And, uh, of course, I did all the work. They sat in the, the office, but I didn't care. You know, big mall. And, uh, but they were nice, and the patrol officers were, you know, nice, except for this asshole. I wish there was some way that he could have, you know, but I guess maybe he didn't get by. Well, so uh, the Supreme Court rules has ruled that religious and political groups and others, uh, the Green River Ordinance, you cannot stop them from coming, you know, going to the door. A city, a state, a county can't do it. Uh, a homeowners association wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, it you just can't do it, and that's when they were. The Greenpeace was a political organization, not a religious one. But uh, so I called. Uh, well, I I asked Ladonna. I said, "Well, is, is Greenpeace going to, you know?" fight this and she she didn't know at that point and then uh, she checked and Greenpeace just said uh, just plead guilty uh, pay the fine we'll re you know we'll reimburse you you know you'll be paid for going to court and you'll be we'll reimburse whatever the fine is or whatever and I said bullshit I called the American Civil Liberties Union, and they said they can't do Overland Park can't do that. That's it's been to it's, it's been to the United States Supreme Court. It's probably they said yeah we'll you know we will you know we'll take the uh, we'll take the case and uh, everything. But so I told Ladonna, and Ladonna told well of course I think Greenpeace said if you know that they would probably contact or the American Civil Unions, I think they were thinking, okay, they'll, if there's any expense involved, they'll contact Greenpeace and get Greenpeace to pay a little bit of money, too, to help, you know, with the thing. And anyway, uh, Greenpeace let LaDonna know, no, 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 just please, you know, so she did. Pisses me. To this day, I'm, I just hope that something bad I hope that guy did that to some other people, you know. So anyway, LaDonna went and pled guilty, 
and paid the fine and she got reimbursed and whatever. And I'm still, this is, wish I could remember the name and, and remember his name and look him up and maybe he, maybe something, he ended, maybe he ended up getting what he deserved. You know, maybe he retired from the Overland Park Police Department. It'd be great if he was fired. But maybe he retired from the Overland Park Police Department. Maybe he decided to run for mayor or something like that. And maybe people could see what an asshole he was. And maybe he lost big time and was, you know, whatever. I worked uh, security part when I was working part-time security at a radio and television station. And it was during election time. The governor of Kansas showed up with a highway patrol officer. That was his security or whatever, you know, showed up and... He was the governor of Kansas because of TV, radio and TV station, uh, KCMO, FM, AM, and TV was in, uh, I think, Mission, Kansas, I think. Anyway, the governor of Kansas showed up, and uh, I was out in the parking lot, of course, and everything. I don't, you know, he was, you know, really nice. Really nice guy. Uh, and I worked uh, St. Joseph Hospital, and the governor of Missouri showed up there one time, and I was in the parking lot, and he came with a, I think, a, I know, I'm not sure he had a bodyguard. He probably did. Can't remember now. But he was really nice. Anyway, I was with this KCMO, and it was election time. And they had various people showing up to record commercials. And anyway, this limo pulls up. And the doors open up on it. Four or five flunkies get out, you know. And they have martinis or whatever. And then the guy who's... Uh, running for, I think he was running for either governor of Kansas or state senator or I can't remember exactly now what he was running for. But he gets out and uh, I can't remember exactly the exchange we had, but it wasn't good. I mean, I didn't give him any, I didn't give him any trouble, but it was like, Unlock the door for me. Let me in. I'm a, I'm I'm so and so. I'm running for whatever it was. I'm running for governor or whatever, and I'm having a you know. And I thought, oh, what a fucking you know, uh, what a fucking who you know. So anyway, he was there for hours, and I kept having to. I would be outside, but then I'd have to go make rounds inside, and they had of course uh, gigantic monitors. In these TV stations, of course, gigantic monitors. And, you know, the quality of these monitors, because it's not being broadcast through the air, it's coming from the cameras going to these. So the, the quality is, you know, much, much better than going out over the air. Uh, so I see him, and they, man, he was redoing it, and they had a stool or whatever that he put his foot up on and whatever. And I knew he was an asshole and a prick. And I thought, God damn that, because I kept, you know, making my rounds. And I thought, that commercial they're making, you know, it looks good. He looked good. He sounded good because they just kept doing it over and over again. And uh, he lost major. He lost big. He got wiped out. I think he, you know, people probably saw the commercials and thought, yeah, that I, I may, but somebody probably like me, I didn't tell anybody else until now. Um, well, I may have mentioned it in a video a while back, but not, but I think he, he traveled around and with his limo and with his cocktails in there and with these, people around him or whatever 
And I think a lot of people just, and then a lot of people told somebody else, oh, you know that guy that's running for governor or senator or whatever? He's an asshole. So he lost. He should have been a little more humble and uh, user-friendly. Okay, wait a minute. I have to... uh, Oh, please, no, please. I'm, Clinton says she's being urged by many, many people to run in 2020. Please, no, no. Trump has considered firing intelligent community general or community inspector general. Uh, Huh. Elon Musk says Tesla will build cars in Berlin. Salt Lake Tribune becomes first legacy newspaper to change to non-profit structure. Uh... Rare dragonfly fossils could teach us about climate change. I like fo- I don't own any. As a kid, I found one down in the Ozarks or whatever. It was just in a creek, a fish or something that was fossilized. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, Venice has been hit by the worst flooding. Two people have the Black Plague uh, in China. Mongolia, actually, I think. Okay, all done. This will be sent out. Um... What else did I want to tell you about? I told you about the monitors. Told you about Disney. Oh, I, I had, I, that's, uh, I, install, I think I told you that I installed the app on that. Oh, by the way, you know, a lot of things, apps that you put on, <clears throat> uh, TV sets or that type of stuff, <clears throat> you know, like Netflix and, Hulu and those kind of things, they tell you, you know, you'll be, you try to put the app on it, it'll tell you, okay, go to your computer and go to uh, Hulu slash uh, sign up or whatever it is, and then a number pops up on the screen, and then you input that over, you know, with uh, Disney first, is that what it is? Whatever. Well, let's see. Disney. You, um, Disney Plus. You, um, just enter your email address and the password that you picked. That's what you do. You don't do the... uh... I think there's a Toy Story 4, I believe, that's coming out or whatever. I saw... I loved Toy Story. And I watched all three of them. I thought about getting a... uh, What? Tufinity and the... You know... What the... One of the things for Buzz Lightyear or whatever. I don't collect. I don't. And I've moved so many times. And I've had to throw tons of stuff away. You know, give it away. Or throw it away. And 
and I, you know, I would, I'd like to have a, have had a different situation where I lived in a house forever, had shelves, and I'd like to have, you know, I would like to have my Radio Shack Model One computer on the shelf, my Commodore, eight, you know, wouldn't have to be the original one, you know, but uh, the Commodore sixty four that I had. Uh, tons of those things and used for years. Uh, I'd like to have stuff like, you know, up, but I've moved too many times. Uh, the next time I move, it'll probably be to to uh, what do they call that when you're you know, my mother had Alzheimer's. My DNA, I showed you the DNA. I didn't show you all of the DNA. I remember the other day I went to check the DNA again, and then I remembered I didn't show you the paternal and maternal where and the years it shows. If you're interested, let me know. And, of course, uh, like I'm... Ninety-nine percent uh, UK and Ireland or whatever, but of course, when you go back that far, it shows that your ancestors, my aunt, you know, we all came from Africa. Kind of interesting because my the 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 years are different, you know, but like my father's DNA came up, you know, into Europe or whatever, from Africa, and from the same area, you know, my mother's DNA, they just got to a different time span, you know, in the, like the same, same area. But if you, if you want to see that information, uh, let me know and I will bring it up. Anyway, um, please, uh, let me do this again. If you're going to be buying something from Amazon, please uh, just type Jim Howard dot M-E and it will take you, I have that designed to take you to Amazon. And then if you, when you come here, if you, you don't have to go down here and, uh, you know, go to here or whatever, you don't have to do that. When you come, when you come here, then if you go and uh, purchase something, um, I will get a commission. And I, I mentioned this the other day. And I'm probably going to mention it in every video. I may make a little clip that I just put at the end of a video or whatever. But I have been with uh, YouTube since 2005 and I make less than $25 a month from them and I spend more than that. Uh, so if you, uh, and with Amazon, here's payment history. This month I'm going to get $26 from them. You have to get over uh, Ten dollars in order to get money deposited in your. Uh, so there's months here where you know. But by the way, and I find it interesting. I've showed this, showed this. I've shown this to you before. This shows what people have purchased that I get credit for. Now let me say again. It doesn't show. There's no way for me to know who purchased any of these items. It just shows me that the items, you know, were purchased and that I made a commission. Um, hot, ham, hot hand warmers, 10 count. Winter gloves. Uh, I guess a DVD of... Uh, Juliana Hatfield, a 2019 uh, version of a personal computer, t 
top, personal computer top. Oh, yeah. We don't have a blender. I, my, uh, I mentioned this before, my grandson, I mentioned this before in a video. When I came to Carrollton, Texas, and he was living with his mother in Carrollton, Texas, and with my ex-wife. And when I came with my grown son, anyway, uh, I don't know how old he was, 15, 16, can't remember now. <clears throat> but I, I told him that I would uh, pay for him to take martial arts. He wouldn't do it. It turned out, that, thank God, because I forget how it came up, how he, they discovered it or whatever, and it cost many thousands of dollars to fix his jaw, entire entire jaw. I'm not sure if it went over him. His entire jaw was absolutely paper thin. Coughing could have broke it. Uh, eating a peanut. So he was on a, had to have the surgery done, and for months and months and months, uh, he had everything, you know, he had things from the, from the blender. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.